a sniper in the Canadian Special Forces shot and killed in Islamic State, is fighter from a distance of 2.1 miles 3,540 meters, in Iraq last month. Military sources told Toronto's Globe and Mail newspaper that the gunman is a member of Joint Task Force 2 and made the shot from a high-rise building. It took the bullet almost 10 seconds to hit its target, it reports. The Canadian Special Operations Command confirmed to the BBC the sniper hit a target from that distance. The shot, which sources tell the paper was filmed, is thought to be a record for the longest confirmed kill. The sniper worked in tandem with an observer, who helps to spot targets, and used a standard Canadian military-issued Macmillan TAC-50 rifle. The shot in question actually disrupted a Daesh, so-called Islamic State attack on Iraqi security forces, a military source told the paper. Instead of dropping a bomb that could potentially kill civilians in the area, it is a very precise application of force, and because it was so far away, the bad guys didn't have a clue what was happening. The source described the difficulty of the shot, which required the shooter to account for wind, ballistics, and even the Earth's curvature. Military experts believe the successful shot may have set a record. The previous record was held by British sniper Craig Harrison, who shot and killed a Taliban attacker from 2,475 meters in 2009 using a 338 Lapua Magnum rifle. The government of Canada's Liberal Party PR 